Hello everyone, Shannon Bankford, Hobbit Music Studio Online, doing a video today for some of my students out here in Portland that are working on the Coldplay, Coldplay song, A Sky Full of Stars, in the lovely key of F sharp major. That's right, F sharp major. So, way to go, brave students. Good way to pick up some of these chords, spelt with sharps. Uh, so uh, first, I'm going to I'm going to give a tutorial on uh, for just uh, beginners to intermediate piano players on ways to simplify the chords to just two note voicings in the right hand here, uh, similar to how I've demonstrated it for my student here in Portland. All right, but the chords are, and I think you can see them on the board here: D sharp minor, B major, sometimes with a major seventh, F sharp major, and then A sharp minor, sometimes with the seventh. Uh, the way that he plays it on the recording, A sharp minor. So, first let's go over the right hand. And I have the notes here and the fingerings here. D sharp and F sharp. And then it stays on D sharp and F sharp. And then it goes to C sharp and F sharp. And then C sharp and E sharp, which is actually F. So you can think of it as F if you'd like. In this key, however, to spell it like an A chord, we need it to, it's A, C, and E, or A sharp. C sharp, E sharp, because there's so many sharps, six sharps. All right, so here's the pass. You can do the rhythm just sort of by ear, but he pulses it like this. Oops. The right fingerings, two and four, one and four, one and three. That's like, cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. That's it, basically. Okay, so let's add in the root notes down here. This is my bass clef right here. So five on D sharp, and then um, three will be on F sharp, one will be on A sharp, and then we'll move one up to B for the second chord here. So, uh, so we got four D sharps, so or you can just hold the D sharp, and then four Bs, four F sharps, and then uh, four A sharps. I forgot to put sort of a bar line here. There we go. All right, so, all right, so the left hand would be four beats of each. I like to keep this even because the right hand is so syncopated. So uh, if you can't play even left hand and syncopated right hand, you could just go and match the rhythm. All right, so the two together, again, with two and four up here. So get down here, find your position, and we go. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. And you can play through the recording, most, most of the entire recording is just this loop. Uh, this is for a play along um, exercise. Alright, uh, the more advanced way is to keep a steady beat down here. And if you're just playing along with a recording, uh, an intermediate player should be able to do this. If we really break that down, what we're doing is we're doing it together, together, and then not together. <laughs> So if you're a beginner, or let's say, uh, you know, under the age of 12 or so, this is a great way to play along, and play the, pick up the recording, uh, play it on YouTube or whatever, you, and just try to pulse along with this, uh, this groove in D sharp minor or F sharp major. All right, so uh, for the more advanced players, the full chords are like this, and then like this. Versions. Oops. B, F sharp, A sharp. Alright, you can actually, here's the full B chord with the major seventh up here, half step down from the root. You can, when you get really good, you 
can actually pulse these as eighth notes like this. gets bigger you can switch to octaves all right worth pointing out that sometimes the B chord is like this a regular B chord with the B on top and then sometimes this last chord is a sharp minor 7 with this note on top so that variation is changes slightly at the end and we'll go over that maybe in another lesson so good luck playing along the goal is just to be able to play along in this kind of nasty key of six sharps with the recording of sky full of stars great way of practicing a syncopated right hand with a steady left hand good luck